So in honor of me completing not only my first year in college, not only as a double major, not only during a pandemic and all online, but also through an injury, do the Ling Ling workout that I saw on Two Set Violin's page with Hilary Hahn with my main pieces that I played over these two semesters. Now I say the main pieces because I could play all of the rep that I've done this whole entire two semesters, but that's a lot. We did a lot of stuff. So I'm just narrowing it down to my solo etude lesson sorts of material that were my top seven pieces with the most time that I spent on them. So basically what happens is I have seven pieces in here and I think like 12 challenges in here. So I'll see whichever ones I get, whichever ones I don't get, I don't get. And then the goal is to try to play like a few lines of that piece with the challenge. We'll see if it works or not. <laughs> I also have some guests. They won't be in it though. <laughs> so for the first piece, Create 319, I just played that for my jury. Okay, this has a lot of trills and a lot of shifts, so <laughs> this could be interesting. Ah, oh, darn it! It's hard to do it just standing still. <laughs> That's the Lindsay Sterling one. Ugh. I used to be in gymnastics and dance and figure skating, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Okay. New website visitor. Thank you for the notification. Check out my website. Okay. <laughs> Road one. That was my first semester jury <clears throat> when I was still injured, so I don't know how well I remember it. <laughs> Hold the oh shoot. <laughs> you can tell how scared I am of dropping it. Hold the bow by the tip. Oh of course for the slow, beautiful opening. Oh, and I have more to lay later on. Okay, hold on a second. It's okay, it decent. Okay, the goal is to make it sound good, so let's try that. Crazy pieces are left. <laughs> I got the easy etude so far. Mmm. Lalo the. Darn it. <laughs> Fifth movement of Lalo. Oh! Only the lower third of the bow! That's actually good! Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> this is how the song goes. Iconic. <laughs> First move in the Lalo. I spent like a year of my life on this piece. The opening. Now what could possibly be the worst thing for me to get at this point in the opening? Okay, 
inverted left hand. But which finger do I use? <laughs> okay. I can't do vibrato. Mrs. Vamos wants me to do vibrato there. Oh, come on. I don't think my arm bends that way. Oh, I see the problem. are like the same piece but they're just so contrasting that I wanted to like split them for just the circumstance I think we're gonna it's very fast <laughs> there's my cat he, he got just as scared as me when he saw this reverse right and left hand oh man I wasn't sure if I was gonna get that one Starting it. Where's the D string? Oh. Okay. I try to get a nice bow hold. That's not too bad, is it? Oh, go me. Okay. Things that I want to see if I can do. I feel like that wasn't too bad. <clears throat> Sicilian. Perfect. Oh no, it's gonna ruin it. A string tuned down to a G sharp. piece to go, the Bach Presto. <laughs> and you can imagine the interesting things I'm gonna have to do with this one. Gosh. I'm gonna let my cat choose. All right, Shiver, which one? Sniff one. Shiver, <laughs> he's not sniffing. Other cat. Okay, you smell. Which one do you want? Middle one? Okay. This is what Hillary Hahn had to do. Literally, it's the same piece and the same thing. Double speed. I did it. 
concludes my attempt at the Ling Ling workout challenge. I think it didn't go that badly because the challenges I got were like okay with the pieces, like playing in the lower third and lava five. Like it's like, so I think I did pretty good. I would like to make it a tradition that during my five years, because I'm doing the double major, which takes five years, after each year, I attempt this challenge with the repertoire my top pieces that I play basically throughout the year because I think that'd be fun not only to see like the joy of the challenge but also to see what pieces I do and like how advanced I get and the improvement and stuff so that's a plan but this was fun I enjoyed it I'm looking forward to about a week of rest until my summer classes start and it's a busy summer it's a busy summer so my plans for the summer is that I'm taking two gen ed courses I'm going to do my public speaking course and my natural science I'm gonna be learning the Mendelssohn Violin Concerto, a new Chrysler piece that I still have to pick, um, and the Bach G minor. And I'm still working on my RL Skills Pedagogy Research Project. We're still recording episodes for season two of the Theory Club podcast. Check that out on Instagram and on Spotify, Google Podcasts, all that good stuff. And yeah, generally just the summer, I have goals to get outside more, um, to read more books that I have kind of stacked up and prepared for during the summer. And I'm gonna be teaching basically all summer and teaching at a summer camp as well. So stay tuned for that.